Hello, my name is Fris from Fris Peruses and welcome to another video. This is the start of a reading vlog that is going to be very interesting and very long. I do apologize in advance if this video turns out to be two hours long. Let's not hope for that, but it is a possibility. When my dear friend Steph from Steph Loves created the final book support group, I immediately knew that I wanted to do something special for that. And that's what I'm gonna do. I am reading in this vlog the entire Throne of Glass series. Yes, that's right. For this vlog, I am going to be reading the entire Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. I'm so excited. We are in for a wild, wild ride. So you better buckle up, grab a snack and a drink because we're going to be here for a while. I think the Throne of Glass series has been on my TBR for probably the longest out of everything you see behind me on shelves. I do own the entire series and I just never, never got around to reading them. However, I did read the first two books in the series. I read Assassin's Blade and I read Throne of Glass. I am going to be rereading both of them. And with the help of the final book support group, I will eventually, hopefully, finish the entire series. I am so excited for this. I'm going to start the first few books this week during the first readathon week for the final book support group. Nobody knows this except my close friends, so I will be hiding it from you and you will see it when this video is finished. But I am so excited. I cannot tell you how excited I am. I hope you're gonna love this. I hope this is gonna turn out great. This is going to be a non-spoiler and spoilery vlog all smushed together. I will use timestamps down in the description, but I will also let you know on the screen when there are going to be spoilers so you know in advance and you can skip that part of the video if you don't want to watch it. But yeah, I thought I would pop on here to introduce the vlog to you. I am so excited for everything to go down and I will get back to you when I have started the first book, Assassin's Blade. Hello, it is Monday in the afternoon. It is the very first day of the final book support group reading week and I am about to start Assassin's Blade, which is wrapped. <laughs> I wrapped this because I'm having sprints later on with Steph and Jade and I just want to be able to read the book without being terrified that somebody sees the cover or something else. So yeah, I decided to wrap it with wrapping paper, which I think is really cute. It looks cute. But yeah, this is Assassin's Blade. I'm about to start this. I had a really lazy start to the day, but that's all all right. We are settling down to read now. I ordered pizza, which I'm very excited about. And I'm excited to reread it. This is a reread for me. But I remember enjoying this the first time around. So I am excited to settle down and get started. Because this is going to be like a, such a wild ride. And I'm already here for it. I will speak to you as soon as I have an update. Hello. It is now a Tuesday in the final book support group reading week and i can happily report that yesterday i started and finished the assassin blade i took the cover off but yeah i finished it i had a really good time with this um it went by like so fast and i'm giving it four stars this is a reread for me so i knew that i was gonna enjoy this um, but yeah, I really liked, it didn't like read as short stories. I felt like the short stories were very like flowing into each other and therefore it read actually like a complete novel. But my favorite short stories are definitely the first one, The Assassin and the Pirate Lord, and the third one. The Assassin and the Desert. Those, I think, are my two favorite stories. But yeah, I had a really good time with this. I really uh, enjoyed myself. I will warn you now because I am going into spoilery territory. 
We'll put it on the screen here as well. Spoiler. I really like Selena. I think she's very badass, but she's also like very hot-headed, which can lead her into a lot of trouble. I hate Arobin. Like, I feel like what he's doing to Selena is just so fucking gross. And he's a very toxic person. And he's manipulating her like all the fucking time. Making her feel special with all these clothes and the money and stuff like that. I, I do think that he believes that he owns her which is fucking ridiculous but yeah i really love the fact that they were able to free the slaves in the first story i really like the third story i think the third in the desert is my favorite one because i love the friendship between selena and ansel and then for ansel like to betray everyone that was like shocking but i also like the fact that she was like oh well i'm giving you 20 minutes and then i will fire an arrow at you and you better not be there and she actually gave her 21 minutes because she didn't want to kill her so i really like that and then of course the last story with sam is just so heartbreaking oh my gosh like i do believe that sam was the love of her life and now he's dead that's very sad and i know there's gonna be like more romance tropes later on in the series i do believe with K kale is it kale and darian dorian i don't know who these people are but well, I do know because I read the first one, um, but I fucking forgot already. Um, so I do know there are like more romance tropes to come, but I do really believe that Sam was the love of her life and she's never ever gonna find somebody like that again. So that makes me a little bit sad for her. I do believe Selena, is, she's very arrogant and she can be quite annoying at times, I'm not gonna lie. But I also feel like that is the purpose of the series um so yeah i'm just very excited to dive into this whole world like i recognize the name lysandra because i know that is a character that comes back so i'm excited to see that i'm excited to meet manon because everyone but i don't think we're actually meeting her until book three or four but i feel like everyone that reads the series is obsessed with manon so i want to see that um but yeah i'm having a good time I'm currently doing a sprint on my own channel. Yesterday, I did sprints with Steph and Jade on Jade's channel. And I read the entire thing. So that was just great. And the, the plan for today is to start and finish the entire Throne of Glass book. I definitely, definitely think that I can do that. Because it's around the same pages as Assassin's Blade. And I finished that yesterday and I'm reading way earlier now than I did yesterday because yesterday I started um, only like 4 p.m. Um, so I'm starting early now with the reading and I do plan on going fairly late in the evening. So that's good. But yeah, I'm having a good time. It's exciting and... I will let you know when I have another update. I am enjoying myself. A Turn of Glass wasn't the best book, not gonna lie. But I think it's a nice setup for the rest of the world. So I am excited to continue Crown of Midnight. I am about to jump on Mel's sprint. And I'm hoping to get like a decent portion read before I go to bed. And I will hopefully finish it tomorrow. That is the plan for now, and I will get back to you and have another update. Hello! It is now Wednesday in the evening, and I have started Crown of Midnight. Wait, well, you cannot see because it's red. I have started Crown of Midnight. I am just over halfway, and I am having a good time so far. I think I enjoy this more than Throne of Glass so far. I really like the princess character, Nehemia. I think she is my favorite character, and after that, probably Selena. Spoilers incoming for the series because otherwise i cannot say like too much non-spoilery so spoileries are coming right now for crown of midnight i really really enjoy the talk about the kingdom of Terrasen and this talk about their heir being still alive and the rebellion i have thoughts on this because i do recognize certain names 
Um, and I think Selena is actually Aelin. Um, I think she is the lost long heir of Terrison. Um, and I think we are going to figure that out. Maybe in this book, maybe in the next. Um, but I think that is the case. Because I recognize certain names. And, you know, it's very hard not to get like... I haven't actually been spoiled for the series at all. But it is an old series and I have heard many people talking about this and I have like this feeling that Aelin is going to be like the main character in the rest of the series. But now it is Selena, so I think that's the same person. Um, but we will see if I'm right or if I'm wrong. But yeah, I'm having a really good time so far. I do want to try and finish this today if I can. I don't have that much left of the audio. I think like around a little over two hours. So I should be able to do that today. Um, and then I will have read book three already. So we're really, really making some excellent progress, which I'm very happy about. Um, also, I really love the interesting like sideline of Dorian having magic. I really am intrigued by that. Uh, at this point, Selena and Kale are, like, kind of together. They had sex and they are, like, kind of secretive together. Um, and Dorian has, like, this magic inside of him that he's trying to uh, find more about. Um, and we have this ghost, this Elena queen ghost that is, like, haunting this castle thing and has something to do with this all it is a little bit less focused on the romance between like kale dorian and selena at this point and more about the actual plot and story i'm very excited to see how this continues if the kingdom like i do have thoughts like i think the kingdom of terrison will rise again with queen aelin who's actually selena and there will be like a full on rebellion you know, to um, overthrow the king and stuff like that. Um, and I love a good rebellion. And there's probably going to be war and shit. You know, there are many books in the series. So all shit will probably hit the fan. But yeah, Nehemia is really my favorite character. I think she's absolutely fantastic. She is really fierce and she stands for her own principles and her own people. And she loves her people like fiercely. So, yeah, I am really uh, enjoying myself at the time. So that is good. I'm going to continue now and I'm going to settle down and hopefully finish the book. I will uh, update you when I've probably finished it. Either that's going to be later on tonight or it will be like tomorrow if I'm too tired to update you. Um, but yeah, I will hopefully see you soon. Hello, it is now later in the evening and I can happily report that I finished Crown of Midnight. I had a really good time with this, not gonna lie. I thought it was really good. Um, I'm giving it four stars. I enjoyed this more than the first one, Throne of Glass, because I thought that the romance was a little bit dropped to the background and it was like actual really good plot um which i really enjoyed surprisingly i had a really really good time reading this and uh, the last bit was really interesting i had some theories and i was right that's always great you know but yeah it's taken a really interesting turn at the end um so i'm excited to see how this now continues um we've had some answers as well about the world and the power and we find out um huge things about selena i will go into spoiler territory now i'll put it in the screen as well so when i last talked to you like immediately after that i think it was the chapter after that was the chapter where uh nehemia was killed and i was are you fucking kidding me? Like, she was my favorite character. And of course, she had to bloody die. So I did not enjoy that at all. Because I just thought she was such an amazing character. And I would really love to see more of her. And maybe we, we still will. Um, because Selena had like a really, really good friendship with her. So maybe we'll like see some bits and bobs from her like in spirit but yeah i th that really really sucked <laughs> 
But then we found out about the the word keys and that the king has at least one of them and maybe even two. And that's how he comes across all of his power and stuff like that. Dorian is still figuring out his magic, which is really interesting. And yeah, at the end we do find out, which I already like, I suspected this for the longest time. I suspected this like even before I start the series that Selena is indeed Aelin. Um, I think I kind of knew this because, you know, the series is so old and you just see people talking about it and I like connected the dots a little bit in my head. So I kind of knew that and I was right. I was, I am glad it's being revealed in this book because I was a little bit scared that the reveal would like drag on really long. And in my mind, I already knew that this, this was the case. So I'm happy that it's been revealed in this book. Um, but Selena has now been sent away on a mission in a country where she is supposed to be safe because we do find out that she's Faye as well. Um, but yeah, she is the long lost queen of Terrasen and she could like be the heart of this rebellion and be the one that stops the king. It's exciting. I, I, I'm, I'm happy to see where this is going. I'm um, having a good time. I do also hope that she comes across paths with her old master. What is his name again? Arobin? Arobin, I think. I do hope she comes across paths with him because I feel like that is also like shit is going down between them. So I do hope that happens at some point. But yeah, she's now going on this mission. So we'll we'll have to see how this goes in the next book. And if she is going to be separated from everyone else, that's going to be interesting to see. But yeah, I'm having a good time. I kind of want to start uh, Air of Fire now. Oh, it's almost like 2 a.m. Why do I do this? Maybe I should go to bed. I do have sprints tomorrow with India at 12 p.m. my time. Maybe I'll start like a few chapters of Era of Fire now because I'm I'm just excited. I want to continue. I don't know if I can finish Era of Fire like tomorrow because the books are getting like chunkier now. So this is Era of Fire. I've wrapped it again. It's like 550. I don't know if I can finish that in a day, but I'm gonna try. I will try. It's fine if I don't, but I don't want to try and do that because I have sprints with India tomorrow during the daytime. And then in the evening, Steph is doing sprints for the Phantom Book Support Group. So, you know, a full day of sprinting again. I do need to film two videos. So, I might not finish this tomorrow, but I do want to have like a good, good chunk of this done, like at least 300 pages, 400 maybe even. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, I think I will film the videos immediately, like in the first sprint, so that's just done. Uh, and then I can like read for the rest of the day. I'm gonna go now. And yeah, this gets four stars for me. And I had a good time and I'm excited to continue. Yay! Hello everyone. It is now, I was gonna say it is Friday evening, but that is not true. Well, it is Friday, but it's just past midnight here. So technically I'm counting this as Thursday evening. I was on step sprints for uh, the evening and earlier I was on India sprints. I got three videos filmed this morning, which was actually like fucking raid. I really needed to do that and sort my shit out. But I did that. I was very happy with that. Um, and then I started Arrow Fire, which I was very unsure of if I could finish today because I was like kind of crashed during India Sprints. I was so tired. So I took a nap and then went on to Seth Sprints and I didn't got very far into this yet, but I absolutely smashed it tonight. Like, holy shit. Um, so I will finish this before bed because I am going on to the late night crew sprint with Mel, Cassidy and Rye to finish this. I'm having a good time. Crown of Midnight is still my favorite. This is very much shaping up to be a four star as well. But Crown of Midnight 
grasped me a little bit more. Um, but I am enjoying it. I think it has to do with the characters not being together. Uh, and I kind of miss those dynamics. I am enjoying myself. Not as much as Crown of Midnight. I do enjoy that more. Um, I'm going into spoilery territory now. So I will put it here. Spoilers for Air of Midnight. Air of Midnight. Spoilers for Air of Fire. I really miss Nehemia. Oh my gosh, I loved her like so much and I really, really miss her. Um, so that's not been great. Well, she's kind of there in spirit because Selena really is like still very much dealing with the aftermath of her death. Um, but she's now in this other town and she's with Queen Maeve, who is her aunt. And she's training to um, get hold of her magic with Rowan. Um, I do really like the dynamics between Selena and Rowan. But I kind of miss the fact that all of the characters were together for like the first few books. And now they are not because Kale and Dorian are still in their own kingdom. So I kind of miss those dynamics a little bit. But I'm sure it will all come together very soon. So, Selena is now training with Rowan. I've met Manon. Badass Manon. I've met Manon and Arexis. And oh my gosh, I am so excited to see what Manon's role is going to be in the rest of the series. Because oh, she's just a badass. And I knew this from the start. And when I saw the first chapter and it started with Manon, I was like, oh, yes. Because I didn't know if it was this book that we were going to meet her. But I've been so excited to meet her. And yeah, honestly, it's just been a good time. It's not necessarily becoming like a new favorite series or anything. But it's just really entertaining. And I'm enjoying myself. And that's all that matters. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this off and give you another update. The plan for tomorrow and the weekend. Because tomorrow we have a 24 hour readathon. To start and finish Queen of Shadows. And also get a good chunk of Empire of Storms. I need to wrap this. Uh, done. And get this done before these two. Before the readathon stops. So I have big plans. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna able to manage that. But we have many sprints during the 24 hour readathon. It's like completely live with me and Steph doing sprints. Um, so yeah, I am confident that I can do that. So yeah, I'm going to settle down now. Finish this off during the late night crew sprints. And I will give you then another update. Hello, it is just gone past 3 a.m. And I just finished Arrow Fire. I did it. Oh my gosh, that, those last 50 pages were absolutely fucking wild. I had such a good time. I do think that this book got a little bit draggy in the middle. I'm gonna say that. Like, there was a point in the middle where I was, well, it was like, okay, can we maybe move on? But finally, in the end, we really, really did move on. And it got such a nice setup for the next book. And we got some answers and stuff like that. And we learned more about Selena's past. So that's all been, like, really, really good. Um, I'm going into spoilery territory now. Because, you know, I cannot say much. Because sequels. Um, so spoilery territory for Air of Fire right now. I cannot believe they killed Sorsha. I was so sad about that. Oh man, Dorian was like obsessed with her. And they made like such a lovely couple. And well, she turned out to be like the traitor. Because she was sending like these um, messages to Ren, the rebel leader. And they killed her. And I cannot believe they did that. I was feeling very sad about that. Yeah, it's uh, wow. Like the ending, what happened was absolutely wild. I feel like Selena Aelin is now finally ready to be the bad bitch that she is, the queen that she is. And she needs to get her ass back and steal these keys from the king and set up her court. She has Rowan on her side now. She needs to set up her court and go full on war with this bitch king because we're not having this shit. I really, really feel for Kale and Dorian as well. I cannot believe, like... They put like a color type thing on Dorian 
I think to um, restrict his magic or maybe to to control him like maybe they can now use him for like bad stuff I cannot believe his own fucking son like he put a fucking dog collar around his own son it's just fucking disgusting um and Kale flat um and Aelin's nephew what is his name Aiden Adian Adian has been captured so they need to free him I hope they will I hope he does not die because in the beginning I didn't really trust him but I think he's like really really loyal to Aelin and he's gonna play a big part my hopes and thoughts for the next book is that Selena goes back with Rowan that they're somehow going to be able to free both Adian and Dorian and that they're all going to be hopefully together and start planning and scheming and set up a court and that she is like the queen again of Terrison and then Terrison will rise from the ashes. I am excited also to see how Manon is going to play out in this because she has now become the wing leader. It is really interesting to see the dynamics between her and her grandmother. Her grandmother is a fucking bitch, man. Um, but I am excited to see how Manon is going to play a part. She is a badass bitch and I love her. She's amazing. Um, also, Queen Maeve turned out to be this fucking bitch. Ugh, family troubles. But yeah, I just hope that the next book is going to be them back together and making plans for a new court to go to war with fucking this badass shit king because he needs to fucking go um but yeah i really do hope that they can save both adian and dorian because i do like them both really much um but yeah i finished i am very proud of myself that i did that i am gonna go to bed now but i have the next book ready queen of shadows oh i'm so excited probably will start this tomorrow evening when the 24 hour readathon starts but if i start earlier that is a win that would be a win but i also need to do some editing tomorrow <laughs> and get some videos scheduled so i don't have to worry about that um but yeah i'm gonna go to bed now i had a fantastic time and i will talk to you as soon as i started queen of shadow hello everyone it is now just come past midnight on friday evening we are doing the 24 hour readathon within this week-long readathon for the final book support group um today was a bit of a weird day because um, my grandma would have turned 90 today and it's her first birthday that she's not here anymore so that was a little bit of a weird vibe that I had today I couldn't really concentrate all that well and I felt a little bit sluggish um, I did manage to edit a video, which I was really glad, and that's going up tomorrow, so that's all sorted out, and I don't have to worry about that anymore in the weekend, which is good. Um, we are now doing this 24-hour readathon. We have been sprinting from 7 until now. We are on the last sprint before we're gonna hop over to my channel. Um, I have started queen of shadows and i can happily report that i'm almost halfway yes i'm almost halfway so i got a really really good chunk done already which i'm really happy about i am enjoying myself i'm having a really good time with it there is some things going down i will uh, go into spoilery territory right off the bat because there's only so much that i can say without spoilers because it's like the fourth fifth one in the series so beware spoilers for um queen of shadows incoming the reunion between aelan and kale happened way faster than i thought it happened like right at the beginning which i was really happy about um so the characters are kind of back together we have um aelan and kale and they rescued aiden quite soon which i was also happy about rowan also showed up so they are now um 
trying to like set up a new court to go on full rebellion against the king then we have um, a non plot line which is really interesting there is some shit going down with the witches clan and the duke and some creatures and i'm not quite sure what is happening there yet and how it's gonna play into Aelin's storyline because i'm sure it at some point it will um but it's really interesting i really really love manon as a character also lysandra came back and i must tell she has done some character growth and i quite like her now so that has been good um Aelin also had her reunion with Arabin which was so tense and oh my gosh I cannot believe they are like kind of working together again but there is a lot of mistrust of course and I know that Aelin really really wants to kill him but she wants to do it at the right time and at the right moment and in the right way because she does want to make him like suffer like no tomorrow and I get that but yeah I'm having a good time I'm enjoying myself we're gonna hop over after this one on my channel and then i have to sprint for 11 hours and i'm already tired so this is gonna be a journey trying to regret it a little bit not gonna lie but it will be fine i am probably gonna be joined by jade and the late night crew like cassidy mel right so it's gonna be fine like i have company so i will probably finish this and then get a good chunk done of the next book so i'm not complaining at all it's been kind of good to hang out with friends on a day where it's like a little bit hard and stuff it's been really good and gavin just showed up for a little bit and you know he makes us laugh like no tomorrow all the time so i love that boy so far so good i'm enjoying myself and i will let you know when i have another update hello it is now almost 10 a.m in the morning and i've been sprinting all night and i'm so tired but i finished queen of storms i had a really good time with this it's probably a four star for me just as air of fire i'm gonna give you more of my thoughts after i had some sleep because i have still three hours of sprinting to go and after that, I'm gonna take a nap because I'm absolutely knackered. But I will get back to you when I've had some sleep and I can, like, give you solid thoughts on this. Because I cannot do this right now. <laughs> so I will get back to you after some sleep. Hello! It is currently Saturday and it is almost 5pm and your girl had some sleep um so i thought i would pop on here to give you an update i'm about to go on staff sprints for the remaining of the 24 hour readathon just made some nachos because i'm so hungry and honestly i feel a million times better had some good sleep and yeah i as you know finished queen of shadows i'm also giving this four stars i really enjoyed myself it is really entertaining but sometimes it can drag a little bit on um but that is the thing with sarah j mass um but nonetheless i really enjoyed myself i am going to go into spoilery territory now for queen of shadows so if you don't wanna watch that skip this part because spoilers for queen of shadows incoming um in this book i really felt for dorian because he was like shackled with his collar and had this demon inside of him for most of the book i really liked how the plot lines of aelin and manon came together and they had this huge like show off between two bitches and i was like yes i love this shit i love this um but yeah i think manon is now of a kind of forging her own path because she does not agree like deep in her heart she does not agree with the shit that has been going down with the impregnating like and giving birth to these witchlings and you know and her grandmother is like a fucking bitch so she needs to like do her own thing do her own shit and forge her own path um but i really really enjoyed myself and um yeah they it ended with 
them going to Terrason and like <clears throat> going to like set up a new court there, which I thought was gonna happen at some point. I am glad that Arabin has died and oh my gosh, the fact that Lissandra did this. I like that part a lot because I always thought that Aelin would be the one to kill him, but no, she let Lissandra do it. And oh my gosh, the character development of Lissandra. Holy shit, I love her so much right now and her being like a shapeshifter and being stuck in this body for the longest time is just holy shit. But yeah, and Kale has been like injured really, really badly. Um, so he needs to go to the the um the healer thingy, which I think that that is my thing because I recognize the name and I read that in Assassin's Blade. I think Irene is there. So it might also see some of her in the next book. Which is exciting because I did really like her. Oh yeah, the king has died. That's also fantastic because now Dorian, who is a get a, who got rid of his demon, is now king. And they can become like um, ally kingdoms. Like Terrison and uh, Dorian's kingdom can become like allies. But I think it's it's gonna take some time and effort and it's gonna be troublesome for Aelin to finish up like her court in Terrison. And I already started Empire of Storms and I was right about that because I am 94 pages in. <clears throat> like the people over there don't really want her as queen because, you know, she's a 19 year old fucking bitch and I, I do quite understand that because Aelin is so unpredictable in the shit that she does um but she is the rightful queen Darren I think his name is Darren has stole Aelin like all right by bloodline you are the princess but we're not gonna fucking crown you because we don't believe in you blah 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 so we're at that point now so I think it will take some time and effort and political scheming to get things going i am really excited for empire of storms because i know it is a lot of people's favorite book and i know it's also becca's favorite from becca and the books so i am really really excited to read this and this is going to be my last book for this week um after that i'm gonna take a little break from this vlog because next week and the week after that, I have some other things that I need to be doing. But then I will come back for Tower of Dawn and Kingdom of Ash. So I'm hoping that this vlog can go up in April. Which would be amazing. I never ever thought that would be so fast. I'm gonna eat my nachos now and jump on Steph's prints. And I will let you know when I have another update. Hello everyone. It is currently Monday evening. And I didn't vlog yesterday at all because I did zero reading yesterday, which I honestly felt really, really bad about. Um, but I had a terrible day yesterday, so basically I didn't want to do anything. So I didn't do any reading. I thought that I would pick up Empire of Storms today and maybe finish it, but... I also have not read today and I think I need a little break from reading. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pause this vlog here and I will get back to you in April. I'm not sure if I will start Empire of Storms all over um, because I didn't get in that far um, or if I just will continue. Um, we shall see but I will be back in April to start or finish Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn and Kingdom of Ash. We're gonna do that in April. Um, but yeah, for now I am pausing this vlog and I'm gonna spend this week doing some other things. And I also um, need to read some books for read-alongs and on Friday I wanna start another vlog. So I got really anxious about the fact that I still needed to finish Empire of Storms, which 
it's just unnecessary behavior honestly so i'm pausing this vlog here and i will see you back in april hello everyone oh my gosh it's like so weird to be back in this vlog after what, what seems to be forever i'm back with this throne of glass vlog and i am sitting here with newly wrapped books i would really like to finish my throne of glass vlog and all the books within the first week of the final book support group that's why i'm starting a few days earlier than planned i have them all like tapped with some washi tape divided into pieces so i'm i'm good to go i'm ready to go i'm gonna start empire of storms again because last time i got like 200 pages in but I'm just gonna start again like to refresh my mind and I might do the first 200 pages like on a higher speed so that I will fly through it but just to like rejog my memory um, but I'm very excited to continue I'm just gonna go for it we're back last time I spoke to you was in March during the first round of the final book support group but the second round starts on Monday it is two weeks this time um, but I would like to finish this in the first week. Welcome back, I guess. Welcome back to myself after taking a break from the Throne of Glass series. But now I'm ready to get going again. And I'm going to start Empire of Storms. I'm very excited because I know a lot of people like this book the most. So yeah, do you like my new wrapping paper? I thought like for this round I would do like new wrapping paper. It's really shiny. I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna start this and I will let you know when I have an update. Hello. And Lily also says hello. Um, we've been chilling together and it is currently Friday evening. I've been reading. Lily is just staring at her presence outside as she normally does. Well, she's a queen. She needs to pay attention to her peasants. I, I agree. I agree, Queen Lily. So I started um, Empire of Storms again. I put some wrapping paper on it again so I don't like accidentally reveal what I'm reading on sprints and stuff. Um, and I am so happy to be back in this world. Like, oh my gosh. It was like such a good shout to have like a break from Throne of Glass. Um, because it was a lot and now uh, I'm getting back and I like I think it also was really good for me to start again with Empire of Storms because so many memories came, came flooding back and I remembered some things again I was like oh yeah yeah oh, oh, oh. and then I got like really excited um, so I'm currently on page 144 so yeah I'm enjoying myself massively I did some editing earlier in the evening just to get it out there and up scheduled and so i have this entire weekend off uh tomorrow i'm gonna spend the whole day reading i want to set an, an alarm i want to set myself into this reading chair and not get out of it only for like snacks and drinks while i need to pee sometimes but i just want to have an epic epic day of reading because i'm so excited to get oh i just whacked myself in the face with that I'm so excited to continue this, so that's the plan. I'm going to bed now, set an alarm, and have an epic reading day. On Sunday, however, I have my movie marathon with my Patreons for The Hunger Games. We're going to watch all four movies, and I'm also so excited for that. But I don't think a whole lot of reading is going to be done uh, on Sunday. Well, I know it isn't. So I want to tackle some epic reading tomorrow, and then... On Sunday, chill with my lovely Patreons and watch these movies. It's going to be so good. It's going to be such a good weekend. I can already feel it in my bones. So yeah, I am not going into detail or spoilers now. I think I will do that when I'm a little bit further in or when I have finished it. But I'm having such a good time and I'm so happy to be back in this world. So yeah, I definitely think I can do this nine days, nine, ten days to the, the rest of the series. So this one, then Tower of Dawn and then Kingdom of Ash. So yeah, we're going to go for it. I'm going to go to bed right now and I will see you tomorrow with another update. Hello, everyone. 
It is currently daytime on Saturday. I'm about to settle in and read for the rest of the day because that's what we're gonna do. Um, it is a little bit later than I would have liked. I forgot to set an alarm, but it's fine. I've woken up now and um, I am good to go for the rest of the day. We have a lily there in the background. Um, I got some, some snacks, some crisps. I got my Coke. I have my book with me, so we're all good to go. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and read for the rest of the day and hopefully... I will update you at the end of the day, so keep tuned. Hello everyone, happy final book support group day, round two! Ooh -hoo. I don't know what I'm singing. I'm feeling pretty good today, it is Monday the 2nd of May. I am dead tired. You don't really see it, but I am really tired because I got er up early today, okay? like fucking early like 9 a.m um but ro was doing some patreon sprints and she invited me and she said you can come on whenever but i will start early and i was like bitch i will if you start early i will be there okay and i was <laughs> um so i've been doing all the things already i filmed two videos did some patreon stuff did some finance stuff sort out my groceries for the week so i have done all the things that i need to be doing and now i can read and i'm so excited because empire of storms i want to finish it that beast today i will show it you but it's there and i i'm not getting up right now i will do that later but i'm gonna finish empire of storms i'm gonna settle down i'm gonna sit here and read because we still have quite some few hours to go for sprinting and tonight well steph was supposed to host sprints for final book sport group but she's still quite ill so she doesn't feel like hosting them. So I said to her, I will host them for you. It's not a problem, my dear, because I was going to be there anyway. So, you know, and I'm a good friend. <laughs> I'm hosting the kickoff sprints for Final Book Sport Group tonight. Um, don't think I will be on too long because I am really tired and I would like to go to bed like relatively on time. But we shall see. I do would really like to finish Empire of Souls today. That will be like ideal, amazing, fantastic. Let's do this. Hello everyone. It is currently almost midnight. You wouldn't tell, but I have fancy lighting now. So, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is almost midnight here. And I've just finished Empire of Storms. And it was so good. I have to give it five stars. I absolutely, absolutely enjoyed myself. I'm just checking how long my sprint is taking. I need to hurry up a little bit with this update. Enjoyed myself massively. Oh my gosh, this was so good. The cliffhanger. I need like, oh my gosh. And I know Tower of Dawn sets place at the same time as Empire of Storm. So I won't be able to know until I've read Tower of Dawn, which is very annoying. Spoilers incoming for Empire of Storms. Spoilers. So I loved this book. The ending was epic. Like Aelan being shoved into this coffin and taking away. Oh my gosh. I like, wow. And it was just so good. The battle was so good. And all these allies that Aelan still has came for her. And it was just so incredible. I think... Like, all the quests and all the people coming together in this book was absolutely fantastic. Um, I love the characters Manon. Manon is just... Manon and Abraxas. I, I I live for them. I live for them. Um, but also Elite. Oh my gosh, I love her to pieces. Um, so it was really good to see all the quests with, like, Dorian fleeing. Um, and then Elite and Manon. Like, they all came together from her own quest like what Manon had to endure from her grandma was absolutely horrendous and I thought it was just so cool to see in the beginning each individual quests and the political alliance and like the scheming with like Rolf the pirate lord to like make alliances and got very political as well which I really really enjoyed um, but what I really liked about this book was that each had their individual quest but they all came together. And can we also talk about Lysandra? Oh my gosh, I love her. I love her like to pieces. 
and now she's pretending to be Aelin for like the troops and everything. Oh my gosh, I thought it was brilliant. And when she was like in the water, almost dying. And then um, Aiden, when he like rescued her, Aiden said like, one day I'm gonna marry you. It doesn't matter if it's 20 years from now, but one day I will marry you. And I was like, what? It was amazing. I loved this book so much. It is definitely, definitely my favorite so far. We're all good. I'm going to bed very soon because I'm very, very tired. But I wanted to let you know that I finished it and my thoughts. So yeah, maybe I will touch on them briefly again because my sprint is nearly ending. I need to wrap up this update. Uh, we're on the final sprint. So yeah, I'm going to go now. And tomorrow I have Patreon sprints, lots of reading again. I want to get through half of Tower of Dawn. So we're going to do this. We're going to slay this week. Hello, everyone. I think I haven't spoken to you in a while. But I am here to give you an update because I started Tower of Dawn. I'm actually quite a way in. Um, not gonna lie, I think this is my least, least favorite book so far. Um, just because Empire of Storms ended on such a high and such a big, big cliffhanger. I want to go back there and I want to read more of that. I want to pick up Kingdom of Ash so badly. And this sets place during the same time as Empire of Storms. So we see Kale's story, um, what has been happening with him during Empire of Storms. Which is quite interesting. And I do really like Irene. I love Irene. Um, so it's not that I hate the book in any ways. Uh, I am enjoying myself a little bit. But I am just so ready to be done with this book. And so I can go back to the original story. I'm very behind on my reading as well. Which is not helpful because... I've been less inclined to pick this up than the other one. But I think I can finish this today. Um, I have sprints in a bit with staff public sprints for the final book support group. I scheduled some daytime sprints tomorrow for my Patreon. And we have sprints on Saturday as well. So I'm kind of hoping that all of these sprints will like really get me through this reading. Um, and I'm also hoping that when I finish Tower of Dawn, um, things will pick up again in Kingdom of Ash. So yeah, that is the update. I saw that Tower of Dawn, um, enjoying myself, but not a whole hacking ton. We're gonna see where this is going. Maybe the ending will be like really, really good. I don't know. But yeah, like for spoilers of Tower of Dawn, we, um, follow Kale and his broken, broken body because... His spine got like snapped during the ending of Queen of Shadows. Um, and he and um, what is her name? Nazarin. Yes, Nazarin. Are going to this Tower of Healers to get him like fixed. And they're also trying to make an alliance with these people there. So they can have like more like manpower to fight this war um, against Arwen. So it's very, like, political in a sense, and there's definitely some romance, like, you see between, uh, Irene and Kaol, and we get to see Irene, like, back in the story again, which is fantastic, because we briefly saw Irene in the Assassin's Blade in one of the short stories, uh, and now she's back. Uh, she still has not realized that the person that helped her back then is Aelin, um, which I'm hoping she will find out. I think she will find out like in the end. But she's trying to heal Kale, And she, in the beginning she was very reluctant to do so. Because she like hates Ardalyn and the king and stuff like that. Um, because they like killed her mother and stuff. Um, but they're growing towards each other. And then we have like Nesrin who is also like a little bit involved with Kale, So we have a little bit of a... Love triangle going on there, and um, we have like the um, the Khan, not the king, but the Khan of this country, and his sons and daughters. Um, very political, like intriguing. But there is also like this force, this power within the castle that is like lurking, um, which is very intriguing. So I am enjoying myself. It's just that I want to get back to the original story. Because 
and virus storms end up with such a big cliffhanger and i was like oh my gosh enjoying myself a little bit um i will probably get back to you when i finish this book yeah hopefully i can do that today um and i will get back to you when i did hello i am here to give you a quick update because i finished tower of dawn and good lord i'm so happy that i finished it because this was my least favorite book of the series so far i just didn't care at all about the story i just didn't care about any of it i was bored throughout like most of the book um and i did not think that this book needed to be this long it could have worked really well as a novella hey all i kind of care about irene i think she's cool i finished it so that's that i can finally start kingdom of ash little spoiler incoming for tower of dawn uh, what I did like in the ending is that Irene pulled out her locker with a paper in it from Aelin and Kale saw it and he recognized the handwriting and he was like, ah, just keep it because I think somebody likes to see that. So I cannot wait for Irene and Eileen to, Elaine to reunite. That's going to be like so good. I hope they will like have the opportunity to do that together. I am going to continue with Kingdom of Ash. I'm on sprints with Steph momentarily. We have one more sprint to go so I can finish um, or start Kingdom of Ash at least. Yeah, I'm, I'm finally gonna read the final book in the series. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? Like in a few days from now, I'll be done. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start Kingdom of Ash and I will see you tomorrow. Hello, it is currently Sunday. No, not Sunday. It is currently Saturday evening. I have been sprinting for over 10 hours. What? Um, it's been a grand old time. Remember when I told you yesterday that I was starting Kingdom of Ash? I finished it. <laughs> what? <gasps> I couldn't stop reading, guys. This was so good. I absolutely loved it. What? This was an experience. Oh my gosh. I loved this. With the whole of my being. Same as Empire of Storms. This was incredible. It was so good. And it was just... It was epic. It was absolutely epic. And I cannot believe that I finished the series. I'm so happy right now. Uh, some spoilers incoming for Kingdom of Ash. It was so good to be back in this world. And of course, I wanted to know what happened with Aelin. And oh my gosh, the torture she had to induce from Maeve. It was absolutely heart heartbreaking. Um, and I think the way Sarah handles mental health is really, really good. Because you can really feel it. And oh my gosh, I felt for her like so much. Um, I just love these bands of characters and all the little quests that they had again. You know, I'm a sucker for multiple POV and then everyone has his own little task to do. Um, and I absolutely, absolutely love that. There was one point in this book where I was actually crying. Um, and that was when the 13 sacrificed themselves from an on and for a better world and i was like sobbing on the live because manon she has my entire being i manon is everything she is my favorite together with lysandra lysandra and manon they have my whole whole heart but honestly these characters are incredible and even kale grew a little bit on me so there's that um but did what this was such an epic epic conclusion of the series um it was just incredible it was incredible how they managed to force the lock with the workies how dorian managed to get all the workies and how dorian's father like sacrificed himself how Aelin managed to come back it was just incredible and how everyone and it was just incredible and there was so many moments in this book where I was feeling all the feels and the last couple of chapters were amazing like for example Evangeline is amazing that little girl is absolutely fantastic um it's a little bit unrealistic with everybody 
ends up with everybody. You know, you have Manon and Dorian, Lysandra and Adian, Aelin and Rowan, um, you know, Kale and Irene. Everyone ends up with everyone, which is a little bit unrealistic and not many people die. Um, but honestly, I, I don't really care because I, I absolutely love this. And I, I just, I am so happy that I actually managed to finish the series. I'm so happy this been, this has been on my TBR for so, so long. And I did it. I, I read the entire series and I'm very, very happy for that. I'm sorry I didn't update you as much during this. Well, I didn't update you at all. But I got completely and utterly lost in this book. Holy shit. I'm gonna wrap this clip up now. What I will do, I will make an ending clip tomorrow or maybe later on tonight of a little wrap up of the entire series with my ratings just to like briefly go over them again and what my thoughts are. Um, but yeah, I had an amazing, amazing time with this and honestly, I could not be more happy. But I will get back to you to wrap up this vlog. Hello everyone, time for a good old wrap up of this vlog and the throne of glass series so i started off with assassin's blade i gave this one four stars i really really enjoyed myself i thought the short stories didn't really read as short stories but it was a good and complete novella for me really enjoyed this and we have the first one in the series throne of glass i gave this three stars i thought it was all right but a little bit too focused on the romance um, but it has trials in it and I love that. Then we have Crown of Midnight. This was really good and I ended up giving it four stars. There are some other books that I have given four stars but I think this is the highest four star. Then we had Hair of Fire and Queen of Shadows which were both a little bit of the same for me. I rated them both four stars. I really enjoyed both of them, but I thought they were a little bit draggy in the middle. But nonetheless, both Hair of Fire and Queen of Shadows get four stars. Then we had Empire of Storms, which honestly just blew my fucking brain out of the water. I gave this five stars. It was upon this point that I actually fell in love with the series. It was just that good. Unfortunately for me, after Empire of Storms, we had Tower of Dawn, which was horrendous to me. I don't didn't like this at all. Didn't care for the story, didn't care for Kale. It could have worked as a novella, but even then I would have been bored, I think. But this book didn't need to be this long. It was ridiculous. And then we ended up with the grand finale, Kingdom of Ash, which I read in like 30 hours time. I was obsessed. This was so good. Five stars all the way. Holy shit. Amazing. So there you have it. I read the entire Throne of Glass series. Did you guess it? Did you guess it? I guess many of you were at some point being like, she's reading Throne of Glass. I got many DMs about it. Uh, my Patreons already knew it. I just hope you have enjoyed this wild, wild ride. I am so proud of myself that I finally did this. Um, so yeah, I am very, very happy. I want to give a big, big shout out to my girl Steph from Steph Loves because she created this final book support group, which has been amazing. And it really pushed me to get to this series. And I think it's going to push me even more in the future to like pick up series and actually finish them. My first final book support group project had to be the series that was on my TBR for the longest time and that was Throne of Glass. I am so happy that I did this. I am buzzing. I will get the vlog out for you as soon as possible. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I am going to leave you for now, but I hopefully will see you soon with another video. Bye!